क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन लिली एंड जमीला काउंट द नंबर ऑफ ब्रोकन बिस्किट्स दे फाइंड इन पैकेट ऑफ बिस्किट्स लिली ओपन फिफ्टी पैकेट्स ऑफ बिस्किट जमीला ओपन हंड्रेड पैकेट्स ऑफ बिस्किट द नंबर ऑफ ब्रोकन बिस्किट्स दे ईच फाइंड इज शोन इन द टेबल सो वी हैव दिस टेबल बिलो The question is, Lily and Jamila each use their own results to estimate the probability that the number of broken biscuits in a packet is zero. So we will look for the number of packets, number of broken biscuits in packet zero. So this is the one. So we have Lily's frequency is thirty one. So Uh, her estimate will be thirty one. The probability out of she opened in total fifty of the packets. So answer will be thirty one over fifty. Now see Jamila. She has the frequency seventy three, and she opened total of hundred biscuits. So seventy three over hundred. This is the estimate of the probability. Part B. Take the name of the person whose estimate is likely to be more accurate. So we have two uh, options here: Lily and Jamila. As you can see, Jamila opened hundred packets. So as more as packets you open, the accuracy will be more. So Jamila will be the answer that we are going to take. And the reason for that because Jamila. Has opened more packets than Lily. Question seventeen. Three hundred and sixty divided by in bracket five times two squared minus ten. we need to work out the value of this so let's do oh, step by step so we need to use here bit mass so for that we are going to solve bracket first so that is 360 as it is divided by 5 times 2 squared is 4 minus 10 then 360 divided by 5 times 4 is 20 minus 10, so 360 divided by 10, that is 36. So our answer is 36. Question number 18. 16 can be written as power of 2. So 16 is 2 power 4. So write one as power of two. So we all know that anything raised to power zero is one. So one can be written as two power zero. Part B. Write one over eight as power of two. So let's see one over eight. Eight is two cubed. That is two. Two times two times two gives you eight. So we can replace eight by two cubed. But we need power of two. Two power. If you bring in the numerator, it will be negative two. So final answer is two power negative three. Question nineteen. The diagram shows information about the ages of people living in a country between the year of nineteen sixty and twenty ten. So this is about the ages. We can see we have there this side. Percentage of population. This side we have the years, and scale is here, zero to fourteen years. This is the bold line. So this is zero to fourteen years. This one, fifteen to sixty-four. This is the dotted line. So this is fifteen to sixty-four, and sixty-five and above is this with the triangle. So this is sixty-five and above. So the question is. people in this country are living longer than they used to so living longer so we need to see 
which graph is increasing here you see this graph is also going down this graph is also going down of 0 and 14 years the only graph that is increasing is of 65 and above so we can write down here in the graph write down how the graph shows evidence for this so the graph of 65 years and above this graph is increasing part b estimate the year when the percentage of people aged 65 and above was first greater than the percentage of age uh, 0 to 14 so we need to compare this 0 to 14 and 65 so when it is increasing so you can see this graph it passed here to the other graph so we will go down here to look what exactly is this year so this is 1990 1992 4 and 1996 so it is 1996 is the answer for this part question 20 here are two drawings of the same shape on isometric paper so we have two shapes this is the two sides of the same shape one face of the shape is shaded the shape is made from centimeter cubes. Find the number of centimeter cubes used to make this shape. So let's count it one by one. So this side if you look here. So we have this one cube, two, three, four and five. The other side of this is shown here. We have already counted this side. So we are left with this. This is number six and seven. So total number of cubes used are seven. Question 21. Write a number in the box to make this calculation correct. So we need a number here. So we can go step by step. 4 times this number equals to 51. Just shift 23 to other side. So we are taking this to other side. So 51 minus 23 is 8. So 4 times something is 28 so that number is 7 4 times 7 gives you 28 so here in the box we'll go 7 question number 23 write down the value of 2.3 squared minus minus 2.3 squared so now this is a bracket so this square belongs to this so 2.3 squared remains same minus this will become positive when it is a square so now 2.3 square 2.3 square they are same so we can just simplify cancel that out so this is zero so final answer is zero question number 23 the nth term of the sequence is n into n plus 1 over 2 so this is the nth term so we can write down tn is n n plus 1 over 2 show that sum of we need the sum of fifth term and sixth term is a square number so let's first find out fifth term t5 so that means we replace n by 5 so 5 into 5 plus 1 over 2 this is 5 times 6 over 2 2 times 3 this is cancelled out 5 times 3 is 15 then t6 is replace n by 6 so 6 plus 1 over 2 so this is 6 times 7 over 2 2 times 3 6 3 times 7 is 21 so we got this t5 and t6 now we need the sum sum of these two is 15 plus sorry 15 plus 21 so 5 plus 1 6 3 so we said the sum is a square number so now this 36 so 36 is a square number which is square of 6 this is the sum which is a square number 
नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इन एन एग्जाम टू बाई फाइव ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट ग्रेड ए थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट ग्रेड बी रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट गेट ग्रेड सी टेन स्टूडेंट्स गेट ग्रेड सी वर्क आउट द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट ग्रेड ए सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट हु गॉट ग्रेड ए ग्रेड ए इज टू बाई फाइव ऑफ लेट से द हंड्रेड द टोटल सो दिस इज फोर्टी परसेंट एंड बी ग्रेड बी इज बाई थर्टी फाइव परसेंट वी आर ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस सो वट इज द रिमेनिंग सो रिमेनिंग परसेंटेज ऑफ रिमेनिंग दिस इज द परसेंटेज एक्चुअली सो दिस इज हंड्रेड माइनस दिस इज फोर्टी प्लस थर्टी फाइव थर्ड फोर्टी प्लस थर्टी फाइव दे गॉट दिस इज ग्रेड ए सो आउट ऑफ टोटल इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दैट दैट विल गिव यू द परसेंटेज ऑफ द रिमेनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट सी सो द रिमेनिंग वॉज सी सो दिस वॉज सी एक्चुअली सी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज लाइक वी आर गिवन टेन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गॉट सी सो दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज That is same as equal to one by four of the students. One by four of the students or twenty five. It's the same. So one by four of students is ten. So that means total students is ten times four. That is forty. So the question is, uh, who got grade A? How many? This is the total. so the question is how many students got a grade so grade a it's given to us it's 2 by 5 of the students so 2 5 5 of the total number of the students so that is 40 so 2 over 5 times 40 so just calculate 2 times it is 16 so our final answer will be 16 this is our final answer Question twenty five. The diagram shows the relationship between the mass of a block of gold and its volume. So this side we have mass and this side we have volume. Uh, the first question is: A block with a volume of twenty centimeter cube has mass of three hundred and eighty grams. Complete the equation with connection to m and v. Complete the equation connecting m and v. So we need actually the ratio of m and v. So m ratio v. M is twenty. This is three hundred and eighty. So we can just divide it like three hundred and eighty divided by twenty. So this is nineteen. So this will be nineteen v. so work out the mass of the block of the gold with volume of 12 so we have the formula now m is equal to 19 v now we are given the volume volume is 12 so we just substitute the value of v from here which is 12 so when you multiply you get 228 grams so this is our answer question 26 write it as a single fraction so we need to have the fraction uh, denominator same for this the here is 2x this is x so we can time it by 2 to make it same so this is 1 over 2x as it is plus 2 over 2x so now denominator is same so we can add the numerator which is 4 over 2x so our final answer is 4 over 2x Question twenty seven. The diagram shows a scale drawing of Rajiv's garden. So we have this garden here. Uh, scale is given to us one centimeter equals to two meters. Rajiv wants to put a seed in his garden. He wants the seed to be more than four meters from patio here. and more than 8 meters from the tree marked x here is the tree so show clearly 
on the diagram the region where Rajiv can put his seat and label the region as R. So let's see. First, we need to convert this scale. We have one centimeter is equal to two meters, and we need four meters will be how many? So times two here, so that here it will be actually two centimeters. So this x will be two centimeters. So from Khatiyu, we need to draw a line of at two centimeters. So this is two centimeter. We can put dot here. Two centimeters. Two centimeters. Again two centimeters. So we can join this line. So he need his seat to be more than. Two centimeters from this. This is the line of patio. So this is more than four meters. That is two centimeters. So this should be two centimeter according to the scale. It will be four meters. So next is more than eight meters from the tree. So now we need to convert eight meters. So one centimeter is equal to two meters. And how many? centimeter will make 8 so times 4 here so that means this is gonna be times 4 here that is 4 centimeters so we need to draw an arc from here for the uh, this from the tree it should be more than 8 that is the 4 so we will open our compass Four. So this is four. So we need to draw an arc from here, from three as four centimeters. So the question is: the seat should be four, more than four meters from this. More than four is this area all this including this one so this is more than four and then more than eight from three so this is three so more than eight is this area so we, he can put his tree uh, his seat on into this area this is the restricted area so our r will be this r is the shaded region represents r you can see so here this is the all area that he can put his seat question 28 solve these simultaneous equations we have these two equations use an algebraic method so we can use algebraic method any of them so i'm using here uh, substitution method so from equation one from here uh, we can have m is equal to 1 minus 3n 1 minus 3n shift another to another side uh, 3n so then we can take equation number 2 from 2 what you will have you have 2m minus n equals to 16 2 and replace this m by the value that we got so this is 1 minus 3n minus n equals to 16 2 times 1 2 minus 6n minus n is 16 this and this can be combined together negative 7n this 2 goes to other side 16 minus 2 so negative 7n equals to 14 so we need only n divide by negative 7 divide by negative 7 so this is negative 2 so value of n is negative 2 now we can find out value of m m from this equation is 1 minus 3 n 1 minus 3 replace the value of n by negative 2 so 1 plus 6 this is 7 so value of m is 7 so that's the end of this paper if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section.